in my particular, this is my back office as we've already said, in my particular back office I have what is called uh, a custom settings area, all right, where I can put in a code, embed code, and that's where I'm going to put in my iframes, okay, right there. I'm going to remove it from here, and I'm just going to keep it on the bottom where it's at. You know, we're actually going to do everything in, in, in visual right now because the embed code is actually right here, so I don't need to worry about the visual and, and HTML aspects while I'm doing this. Now, custom fields are generally all WordPress blogs have custom fields, so technically you could put the code right here, okay? Um, and you should if if you have uh, the custom fields available. I have the uh, the headline for my theme custom fields available, so I'm not going to worry about that. That's going to import up there anyway on my on its own. Um, but if you don't have that theme, this custom field area, you can simply just put the embed code there, and you'll see the video. Okay, so let's preview the changes. And when you do this, when you put the embed code in the embed area, the video is the first thing that pops up, and then comes the text. Okay, so that's number two. That's the second way of doing it. And number three is this is the final way of doing it. Okay, removing everything from the visual, from in the embed area. Okay, You're removing all of that, and you're going to go into what is called the widgets or plugins. All right, there's a plugin really for everything with WordPress, and a plugin simply is an addition to a WordPress. It's like pimping out a car. You know, you're adding rims and you're adding tires and you're adding all sorts of stuff. Well, a plugin acts the same way. You're adding features to your blog. So there is one particular plugin that is kind of cool. Um, it is for embedding video specifically. Okay, it's WordPress video plugin right down here. All right, and right now I have it activated. Okay, but if you don't have it, what you can do is you can, this is how you look for plugins. You add new, click on add new, and you go to the search plugin, you search in video embedding or something. You know, you could, and video embedding should have it pull up. And here it is, WordPress video plugin. It's the second thing that pops up. Now, when you're when you're entering in a plugin, installing a plugin, you have to be very very careful uh, because sometimes some plugins are not compatible with the WordPress um, that you have. If you have a 2.0 WordPress, uh, then you're you're not going to be able to oftentimes do it. Like for instance, this one is is for for 2.5 versions are better. So the one I have is a 3.0.1 version and that's fine with this particular plugin. Plus the other awesome thing about it is a look for the stars. Okay? If you have five stars out of five then you know it's a good deal. You know it's a way to go and you know it's compatible and easy to use. I mean most people mark the stars if it's if it's easy to use, if it's simple enough. Okay? And this one's simple. So to do it you would just uh, install you click the install button now and it would install okay but we are we have it already installed in our plugin menu in our plugin list so we're gonna go back into our plugin and we're going to go into WordPress video plugin we're gonna look at what you're supposed to do okay what the directions are to make that work How, why is it easy and, and they're gonna tell us why it's a filter for WordPress that displays videos from very, very, many, very, many from many video sh services. Simply enter, okay, and, and look at this. It has a bracket, video site, space, ID, end bracket. At a post, and you will see a video for f using the plugin. Read the instruction page or read me file. So let's go into the instruction page very quickly so you can kind of get an idea of what it is. And remember, this is what it's going to look like at the end, right? When you embed it. And if you go down to YouTube, this is what a YouTube URL looks like. Remember, the URL is each video has its own separate URL. And each video has its own separate number right here after the equal sign right here, okay? Starting with the E and the F. Now, the, what you're supposed to do with 
setting up the template properly is you're supposed to, as we already showed above, a bracket, the player or the the, um, the site, the video site name, okay, and then the number after a, a space of the video uh, the video number or the video ID number okay so in this it is this is the one we're going to use this is if you want to embed a playlist which you can you can embed one playlist but the playlist actually has many videos in it so that's something I'm, I'm, we can touch on later but but for YouTube you just enter YouTube okay and then space and then the ID and the ID like we just said is this big number after the equal sign okay so if we go back into YouTube and we go into share this time for that particular um, video uh, music video road trip you see that here is the ID so you copy the ID you go into your blog post okay so now we're in the actual post again in the visual side and we're gonna test this out this the uh, the new way of doing uh, with that new plugin we have we're gonna test out to see how this works so let's grab this part again as I just did I have to re grab it okay just the number go back into the post put that lay that down and then we do the bracket okay now I'm checking to see if it's gonna work in the visual side and I'm hoping it does so let's preview the changes let's see if it works in the visual side because I think that might be a very big selling point for a lot of people that all you really have to do is is do that so let me check here and you know what I think that may have done it let's go back and edit this because I think I have an embed code yep I still have this remember you can't have both of these or you can it's just it's kinda of weird looking but so let's take all of this code out that was in the other area and so now we simply have just the YouTube obviously because this is what it is it's YouTube is the video sharing site and then we have the video ID and it's in visual it's on the visual side and we can type underneath that very simply hey all check out this video and rate it for me okay and you could do anything with it uh, and update that okay so now it's updating let's view what the post looks like now it should be the video first and then hey I'll check out this video and rate it for me okay so that's the other way and a very and much easier however um, the difference is you cannot manipulate it uh, the same way as with the embedding um, with the embedding as you could see we made it we could make it larger um, we could change the uh, the actual player colors and put it in the iframe but with with this particular way it has a default that is set already and it say, stays that way however it is the easiest way to do it I think um, if you are not familiar with HTML because you don't have to go into the HTML and change it around it's all in the visual side of things and you can really add it very quickly um, however my preference is adding HTML in, in the embed area okay that's my preference but I'm gonna let you do which one it feels best to you um, but I and I wanted to just show you all three so you had the option of taking a look okay so that's about it that's the fastest and best way those are the easiest ways to embed video onto your WordPress blog site onto your post and and then share that content alright if anyone has any questions of course then you can always email me and I'll have that link below and uh, I will talk to everybody very soon and please this is my call to action if you did enjoy it please like it or share it with others and um, and, and so that we can get the word out about uh, the ease and accessibility of WordPress and video and the collaboration with the two. Okay, I'll talk to everyone very soon. Thanks again. Take care.